Well, what is going on guys? PTS42 here and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. This time around, we are going to attempt to tackle Chapter 3. I know I'm a bit late to the punch on this one. You know, Chapter 3 came out a little while back and Chapter 4 actually just released. So, in the end, hopefully we're going to eventually get to Chapter 4. But this time around, we're going to start up on chapter 3 so select chapter we've already done chapter 1 and chapter 2 and it's time to start chapter 3 rise and fall chapter 3 rise and fall oh god it feels so weird to be back in this universe like it feels so strange to me because it has been quite some time since I have actually played Bindi and the ink machine our objective is to leave the safe house so I guess that's apparently where we are and uh, I know last time we ended off seeing Boris at the end of chapter 2 we saw Boris for the first time door seems to open let's investigate so we're in the safe house apparently there's a way we can venture off this way all right there's something here can I grab that it's a, a bucket full of ink things are very dark danger keep out yeah you don't have to tell me to keep out because trust me I will keep out I guess, uh, maybe not. That one's locked. Let's go in here. Is there anything? I can flush the toilet. Does that do anything for me? I guess not. God, dude, this is just as creepy as ever. Now, we've got these gears right here. Doesn't seem that I can do anything on those. I guess there really isn't much for us to do. These clothes look familiar, though. That looks a lot like Boris. And there's Boris. Hey, buddy. What's up? You want to talk? No, you're just hanging out? Dude, what are you doing in here? Playing some cards or something? I don't know. Can I play that? I can play his banjo. Don't know what significance that has. We've got something we could take there. I think that's a can of what? Bacon soup? I think that's what they're called. What's this? I'm not getting out of here that easy. He to open the door, but the lever is missing. The lever is Boris missing. Has it. Okay. Find the door lever. Talk to Boris. Boris, my friend. Hey, Using that lever handle. Yeah, around? help us out a little bit. Holding it hostage until I make you something to eat. I thought so. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got to make him something to eat. Apparently, find soup for Boris. Three soup cans. Okay, well we did already find one, so that leaves two left to find. So there's one right here. Grab that. Okay. Oh. Who is that supposed to be? That does not look like Bendy. That looks like someone else entirely. Huh. Curious as to who and or what that is. But we got to find some more bacon soup for our good old pal Boris. There really isn't anywhere else I can look for it though. Like we can't go through that door. The only other place it could be would be behind us where we first, you know, woke up. Interesting. I wonder how we got here in the first place. You know, like, we saw Boris at the end of Chapter 2, and we, like, I guess we ran with him. Oh, I can open this. Oh, look at that! That should be enough. That should be enough, and there's a bone right there. Alright, and our next objective is to make Boris soup. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's make our way back over here. I think I saw a cooking range while we were over here. I'm guessing we have to use it right here on this pot. There we go. Alright. Don't you worry, Boris. We're cooking you up something real nice. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna burn it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay very close attention to it, my friend. Alright, here you go, buddy. This is for you. I hope you like it. Dig in. Oh. Oh, is this for me? Is this the lever? Ah! Oh, leave the safe house. That is the lever. Alright, yeah, and we're totally just about to finish chapter three of Benny and the Ink Machine right here. Obviously, I mean clearly we're gonna pull this and we're gonna escape. Oh uh, Find a new exit. Don't wander off. Yep. Don't want to wander off. I'm gonna grab these little things of soup. Oh Boris Not cool my dude. Why would you do that? All right I'm gonna follow Boris because I, I mean he's been here for God knows how long so He's got to know. Ah, oh, hello Bendy. It has been quite some time, hasn't it? But Boris should know the way since he's been here for God knows how long. Boris and Bendy. Why 
That's a new mechanic I have not seen. We can hide in here. Little Miracle Station. Is that referring to the angel? Alice Angel, I think, is what her name was? I'm not sure. Um, God, Bendy. God, it's freaking me out. That's obviously... Like it's we... really dark up ahead. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's find some light. Okay. Well, hey. Okay, so now we have a flashlight. All right, Boris. You want to lead the way, friend? No? How did I know that you wouldn't want to do that? Okay. Let's make our way down here. Here. God, it is actually very dark. Keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Yeah, we're, we got to keep the light on Boris, apparently, but... I want to see if there's anything over here that I can actually interact with. Boris, can you slow down? I feel like there's secrets. Oh, God. All the ink oozing from the walls. Oh! What was that? Boris, you that? you've got yeah. some splaining to do. Oh, hey, Bendy. Good to see you. You got some splaining to do. There's a lot of splaining that needs to be splained to me. Another dead end. Of course it is. Any other way through? Huh? You got any ideas, Boris? Yeah, you got any ideas, my friend? Talk to Boris. Oh, all right. We gave him the the flashlight. Can I crouch? Oh, I guess he's going in on his own. Yeah. Okay, he left me here, all by my lonesome. And I guess I have to wait for him to open up something. I can't seem to interact with anything. Yeah, I guess we're we're waiting. All right, objective: find a new exit. All right, Boris seemed to open the door. He took the flashlight from me, Boris. Oh my God, where the heck are we? Oh my God, heavens. Heavenly toys. Wow. I don't remember any of this. Yeah. Me neither. And who would have thunk that this would be down here, dude? What in the world? All of the little things of Bendy. Got the little plush. We got a big plush. Oh, my God. We've even got a giant Boris plush and a little one, too. Jeez Louise, dude. Okay. Ooh. Who's humming at me? It's very soothing. And very... Eerie and creepy. There's a lever right here. Can I pull this? I cannot. At least not yet. There's something here. Another day, another dollar. I guess so. I guess we're clocking in. We're ready to work hard and work happy. Okay. So what's the, the significance of being here? Why blocking the door? Always gotta be a way through there's, there's always something blocking the way and there's you know Always something blocking it and our new objective is to fix the toy machine. Oh They're moving Can I like just move you guys out of the way doesn't look like it. All right um, Well, those seem to be a new plushie. I haven't seen that before um, All right, there's gotta be oh my god that scared me it's got to be something we can use, something we can find to get something moving, you know? We got to fix the toy machine. Not the ink machine, not this time. Can I climb this? Oh, can I? No, I jumped up on top of it, but it doesn't seem that I can actually fix it. Hmm. Oh, there's something right here. Let's uh, interact with this and have a quick listen. That's Jacksepticeye. I know that much. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. So that changes forms it change the ink changes and, and like molds itself into something different so maybe we can use this to somehow get the machine to work like what is that that looks like a gear or something um let's run back this way i can't seem to power that on but there was a lever and it looks like the lever leads to the machine so turn that thing on 
Okay, un unclog the belt wheels. Alright, so I guess we'll take that, get that thing spinning. Anything in these ones? Doesn't look like it. Anything on that one? No? Okay, so it, we're getting there. You know, we're making a little bit of progress. We got a little doll there. Take that, and it looks like something else right there. Okay. Everything's spinning. Everything working properly. Not quite yet, for some reason. Something seems to be holding this one back right up here. That one's tricky. I didn't see that before. All right, turn on the toy machine. There we go. Turn that junk on. Okay, and that opens... It slightly opened something up. Um, hmm, interesting. All the toys are going through, so I guess that's a good sign, but I don't think we're going to be able to get past this quite yet. Let's see, maybe if I change this to a different mold, like the Boris one, like that, will that open it? No, it doesn't. Maybe I can flick this again. There we go. All right. Progress is progress. All right, let's open this door. She's quite a gal. She's quite a gal. Talking about her? Alice Angel. Oh. I don't know what to look at up here. Oh. Good. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go or if I'm just supposed to wait for this terrifying experience to be over. Alright, let's try going up here. <laughs> oh! oh my god, dude. What? Is Joey Drew doing here? I see you there. Oh no! A new fly in my endless web. Jeez, dude. Now, let's see if you're worthy to walk with angels. I'm good. You can do that yourself. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that. I really don't. Not. Not even a little bit, honestly. She broke through the window. Oh, dude, God, what is going on here? What has Joey Drew been up to? I don't like it. I do not like it at all. Ah, the demon, the angel. Hmm, so it looks like we've got two different ways we can actually go. Which way should we go? I don't know. I mean, she said walk along, uh, walk like along with the angels. Did something just shut behind me? Did something? Maybe? I don't know. I- Oh! This did. So we can't actually go that route now. Or root. We can't go that way anymore. At least not until we beat this side. There's Alice Angel right there. We've got another thing we can listen to. Let's listen up. Everything feels like it's coming apart. Okay. But I walked into the recording booth today. Sammy was there with that Allison. Okay. Oh. Okay. So Susan was the original voice of Alice Angel. And she got replaced by Allison, I believe was her name. God, but look how sweet she used to be. Look at her. She, I mean, she was quite the angel, even though it looks like she kind of has devil horns. But, you know, like what happened? The ink machine? Is that turning everybody, like, crazy and, like, morphing everybody into monsters? I don't know, but we're gonna make our way down here. Uh, let's keep going on. Going on in. Alright. Just check out behind me, make sure nothing's following me. Open this. Can't shut it behind- AY! Bendy! My dude, please! <laughs> Why you gotta do that to me, boy? That was- not a good thing to- Oh, Boris. R was that you? You were holding Bendy? You're funny. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're yeah. Yeah, you seriously did, even though- anything we can use to protect ourselves Probably with. wasn't Boris doing that. 
Arm yourself. Take the gent pipe from Boris. Giant pipe? This will do. Yeah, this will do. Look at that. Look at that attack speed. All right, um, let me just get rid of this real quick. <sighs> come on, come on, let me just get rid of that. Yep, just break that, that, that's good. All right, well, come on, Boris, let's go through this door. Are you following me, my friend? Come on. You should still have the flashlight. Where's the flashlight, Boris? You're moving quite fast. I kind of want to look around, but I guess we don't Boris really have a choice. Two levers at once. Ah. You get this one. I'll find the other. Okay, so it's probably going to be off that way. All right. The Butcher Gang. Oh, God, they look really cool. I like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Bro! Oh, I got to fight you? Oh, God, I did not expect to do that. Oh, God, I'm taking damage. I got to go back. Boris! Help me out! God, I did not expect that to ha Oh, God, Boris is even scared. Ugh. Are you dead? You better be. Uh, uh. All right, Boris. It's okay. It's okay now. We're safe. At least, hopefully, we're safe. I did not expect that to just happen. Good God. All right, well, let's pull this lever. Ready, Boris? All right. Let's go. We unlocked the door. Hopefully. Boris, you good? You got it? It looks like you did. Let's make our way through here. Let's go, man. Okay, okay. We got some bean soup or bacon soup, whatever. All right, let's go, let's go. Keep it moving, Boris. You and me. All right. In a new area now. We got somewhere where we, where we can hide. Gents and ladies. Good to know that they, you know, still have bathrooms. Um, Boris, where are you leading us? Into an elevator. Ah, okay. Can I open this door, though? I cannot. Cannot open that door. We can hide in here, you know, if, you know, we need a little bit of, uh, downtime away from all, everything that is this game, you know? That might be something I'm, you know, might have to look into. Alright, Boris. We going in the elevator? You and me? Let's do it. Oh, wait. It, does it even function? So oh, it does. Okay, I was... Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, good. Um, I'm all right. Let's go back up. Okay, Boris. You, you know, I don't, I don't know if I like that. Date with an angel. Visit Alice Angel on level nine. And I'm guessing that's where we are going. Is level nine? I'm, I mean, surely, right, Boris? Is that where we're going? Uh, I don't like it, Boris. I don't want to go to level 9. Oh, hey, look, level 9. We made it, Boris. Can you believe it? We're going on a date with a freaking angel. Uh, I think I'm... Um, yeah. I think I'm... I think I'm good. I think I'm alright. Boris, you alright? You think we should stay in here? I, I mean, that's personally what I think. I think we should probably just stay exactly where we are. All right, Boris, we gotta go. Come on, friend. Does this door unlock? It does not. Boris, why are you going down there? We gotta clock in first, too. Always All right. on time. Always on time. Every single time. Nine times out of ten times. I'm just trying to see how, how many times I can say time in a single sentence. You know, it's about time that, you know, we figure that out. <laughs> anyway... Can we unlock this? We cannot. What are these statues? These big statues of Bendy. I feel like there's some significance to those. Is that just me? I mean, it could just be me. I don't know. Um, can I bust this stuff down? No, I need an axe to do that. I'm sure. Alright, Boris. I'm gonna check this door and then we'll, I guess we'll continue on down. Follow the screams, but you know, I've yet to hear a single scream. Wait, Boris, pause! We gotta listen to this. Oh, good. Hmm. Yeah, I would too. I would too, Thomas. I can't tell if that's the voice of Markiplier or not. 
it kind of sounds like it is, but you know, I'm not I'm not gonna just jump to conclusions. The first ver voice that I heard was definitely Jack Septicai, like 110%. Um, I could just tell. You could just tell. All right, Boris, we opening this door? I guess so. It's gotta it's gotta open slow. Okay, Boris, you're you're really running for it now. All right, I'm right behind you. Well, you're running a little too fast for me, Boris. I can't catch up. Boris, why are you running away from me like this? Oh my god, dude. What the heck? Boris. Dude. Oh my god, what is this even supposed to mean? I mean, we've seen that in the very first chapter of Bendy and the Ink Machine. It looks like Boris is staying there. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. So you're sacrificing people. Anything less than perfect was left behind. Oh my god, even this guy. Made Who made you? You said she. What are you talking about? Alice Angel. Huh, we've got a tape we can listen to right here. Let's check this out. This is Susie. Having lunch with Joey Giroux. Hmm. Our times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. Mm. But I gotta say, he wasn't at all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. Oh. So did Joey Giroux, did he transform all of the actors for all of the characters into these monster or into these monsters or even into their characters good god and boris hasn't talked to us at all so he might not have a voice actor maybe it was before you know there were voices in animation i don't know but we're gonna trudge our way th through here i see her there's alice and look what she's doing, dude! Bro. Now we look what happened to her, dude! Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? No, you the don't. The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. No. How's a girl to choose? How about you just, you know, Take be nice? This little freak, for instance. He crawled in here. Trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched you're... me. It could have pulled me back. Pulled you back from what? Do you know what it's like? Her voice changed there. Dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Oh, I'm sure. It's of your mind, swimming like, like fish in a bowl. I'm sorry, but what you're doing isn't right. I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. Oh. Oh. Uh. Not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. I don't have words to say, so guys. Almost perfect. There's no such thing. Yes, I will spare you. For now. Oh, well, thank you. Bad. I guess. I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few easy, weensy little favors. I'm sure they're eensy weensy. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. Oh my god. So we're gonna be doing her evil bidding? Yeah. Do the angel's bidding. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe that. This is insane. What an incredible start to chapter 3. Jeez Louise. Alright, Boris. You better still be over here. I don't want to have to run after you again. You freaked me out. But when we first came into this area, he ran in here. Like, knowing... Like, he, like he, something drew him towards this room. I don't know. I don't know. But Boris is gone now. Which is not good. I'm not happy to see that. Can I open this? I can, but there's nothing in it. Hopefully Boris is waiting for us at the elevator. Hopefully. Come on, Boris. Don't ditch me like that, good old friend. You know, 
It's nice to have companionship in this one, you know, like. My machines are hungry. Ugh. Gather me some spare parts. How am I supposed to do that? Uh, you need a wrench. Okay, collect three special gears. How am I supposed to do that? Where am I supposed to do that? And down here? I mean, I'm I'm guessing it's got to be somewhere this way. Alrighty then, guys. So I think this is a pretty good place to go ahead and end off this episode of Bendy and the Ink Machine here. You know, we have to do... We have to do Alice Angel's bidding. Her evil bidding. She's quite a gal, apparently. Or lack of a better words, quite a demon. At least from, from the looks of things, that's... That's what it's looking like. But that is just about all the time that I have for this one. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. But with all that stuff said, you guys, I will see you in the next video. So until then, keep on being stellar. Wow.